Well, let's go see if I got any fire up here. Nothing would be that easy after sitting this long. That's for sure. All right, try that. Shucks. All right, hang on. I... I got to get back with the... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is what we're into today. I can't even speak, I'm so excited. An old freight liner, last tagged in 2006, which is 15 years ago, the best I can do my math. Single axle. I told Jacob when we pulled up to it, I said, I bet it's got a Detroit in it because it's got twin stacks. You don't see too many of these older Cummins with twin stacks. They had a single stack. But it's a single axle. He uh, had this low boy hooked to it. And he just did some, I think at one time he did some, well, you can see right here, he, he did custom work. And he made him a custom U for his custom work sign. I don't know what year it is, but we're going to find out. Let's just get into it and see what it is to it. But I'm going to say it is a 72 model. I'm going with 72. Let's see if we can find out. All right. Watch for wasp. It's that type of season. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. All right, here's a little bit of information. It is a Detroit 8V71 N, which I believe is non natural aspirated, I believe. This is why we always call them 318s. 318 horsepower. Got four lem rear end in it. Uh, I do not see a manufacturing date. Oh, it's got a key in it, and right there is a starter button. I'm going to start locating them starter buttons. I lost the one in the International. We were pushing the horn, trying to get it to start. We don't claim to be mechanics, but I do claim to be smarter than that. Uh-oh. Incoming. Oh, it's got a 13 speed in it. It's got a 90 RT9513. Ain't been replaced because it's still got the shifter in there. Let me, Jacob, hold this and let me climb up in this thing. All right, this thing did have a step. And then you got a step and then you got a pull. Whew. Good gracious. Well, <laughs> look at that bed. I guess that's what you call a 36 inch sleeper. I'm telling you, when you, when you laid down right there, you was tired. I guess you could go to sleep pretty easy. Uh, let's see. It's just got 11,324 miles on it. This thing was just getting broke in in 2006 when he parked it. Let's see if he's got any information about a tag receipt in here. So, oh, yeah. We're going to find out something here, fellas. We're going to find out what this truck was. Alpha was the last one that did it. Effective date 2004. Right there. All right. It is a 1974 white. I forget what I said, but I think I was close to that. But anyway, that's interesting. 1974, what does that mean? 50 years old? 49 years old. Wow. This thing's awesome. There's a fan, the lights. There's a lot of stuff up here. Interlock. I don't even know why it's got that interlock on a... Uh, Single axle. So I guess that's got. Some, I guess it's for some reason it's there. 
engine start. Oh, it's got two. It's got this is a double button engine start. All right. Let's see what this information is. This is just some more of it. I'm not trying to dig through his personal information. I'm just seeing if there's any kind of truck information about it. No, that's just that's the letterhead from Allstate. <laughs> it's been a while since that's been around. Everything's faded but the Allstate. You're in good hands. All right. Well, let's put this back where it belongs. Uh, you got a good view of the sleeper on that side. That right there, that's that's what you had to sleep in. I guess your head was this way since it was a little bit narrower behind the driver. This is air conditioning. Let's see what's up here. See if you had anything up here. That's, much. that's the horn, dirt daubers. All right, let's get out and see what else we can do. Sit here. Usually, I have a little old pull thing right here. You you pull and unlatch that, but I don't see it. Rats probably chewed it off. But this thing is sitting on a set of 1020 Dayton's. Single axle low boy. As a root rate, I seen he had a 450 dozier in his yard. If you was, uh, if you watch Hank's channel, Hamiltonville Farm, this is the same place that he and I come to that uh, we did the walk around on the uh, tour of the. I forgot how what he actually called it, but anyway, we did a walk around tour, and this was on back in the pasture, and you remember. Uh, the last video I did, or Jake and I did, was the uh, international cab over, and we talked about the length of trailers. I mean, that that's a short trailer. I don't know what year it is, but now it could have been designed that short too since it's got an unloading door on the side. It could have been like a distributing company special made trailer. Maybe, maybe that's not an accurate thing I should be saying about the length of the trailers, but you can see it's a shorter trailer. And uh, I had a comment on one of those that said some of those trailers in Texas now are like 57 feet long. I didn't know that. I thought they was 53 footers. Trail Mobile, if I ain't bad wrong, they're still making them. But here's one, here's a flatbed. I'm guessing 40 foot, what they are. On Dayton axles. No, my bad. I'm sorry. They're on bud wheels, but they're still 1022s. The 1022s, if you don't know, the 11245 replaced them. The 1020s are the 1100 uh, or the 11225s, and they're just uh, tubeless tires. These are probably 15 inch wheels right here, and they uh, are dry rotted. But yeah, they're 1000. 15s. You got the spring suspension, which I'm sure, oh yeah, easy to get to on the batteries. And uh, there's the engine. Probably can't tell too much about it from that shot. But there's the engine. And uh, let's get backed up over here and slap these batteries in it, find the oil. Oh, also, uh, I bet you the oil and the water is going to be right here. There's just a good fuel, fuel uh, stick. This thing is going to go up. No, just the water. Well. I'll fool with that a little bit later. Gotta push it down. There it goes. Huh? 
All right. Took a minute, but we got it. And I doubt it's got any in it. We might use this for a little water checker. I'm guessing nothing, but we'll see. Nope. That's all right. Detroit's a, a runoff. They run on a little bit of water and a little bit of oil. That is such a nice nostalgic to me. Okay. Let's look back here and see uh, what kind of fuel we got in it. Got to watch for rattlesnakes here. I mean, we're in rattlesnake country. You can see all this long leaf timber here and this wire grass. Uh, we're in. Oh boy. There we go. I just got a man up. Well, I can tell that's empty because I can see the bottom. <laughs> People, this right here is a dry hole. It's not making fuel. Let's try the other side. He might have just had that one. Might have had a leak in it. He might have had it blocked off. We did things a little different back in 1974. Oh, that thing is inset in there. Uh oh. Hey, it does have a cab jack on it. Not sure if we can get the cab over. Of course, this is the what unlocks the cab. We can try it if we need to. Oh, boy. Sounds like something's in it. We'll be tackling that in just a minute. Maybe tap on it or something, see if we can get it loose. Let's find out where the oil stick is. It should be... It shouldn't be that hard to get to wherever it is because you got to check the oil. The last one, the International had it in the back. Might have to look under the wheel. Might be under the wheel. If it is, it's on the other side, I think. If it ain't a starter button I'm hunting, it's a oil stick. Oh, I guarantee it's right here somewhere. I just, I just can't see it. enough to try to figure out. Let's see if the cab would tip over. The worst thing is we ain't got a doggone bar. All right. Let me back around here. We'll put those batteries on there. I got to thinking about it. I bet you that that's the trailer he bought with this truck because that where the hooks up to the kingpin, that's not uh, deep enough for a twin screw to fit under there. And I'm, I, I mean, nobody told me that, but this was probably a food delivery truck. I don't believe that kingpin's probably right. No, it's up here. This right up top. Yeah. Well, maybe a twin screw could get it. That's, yeah, he probably could. But anyway, uh, this thing was 
1978, last time it was inspected in Florida. Wow. Awesome. I don't think that's tell us anything. We're going to get back to the truck. I just like looking at this other stuff. That's the Smith Moore Body Company out of Richmond, Virginia. All right. <laughs> Did buy a little voltage tester and a meter and a flashlight today. And I bought a toolbox, but I didn't bring it. I'm gonna get rid of my little doctor bag here and try to get it a little bit better organized than what we had it. All right. We're gonna have this one. I guess it's just like that. We'll see what it does. We'll hook two batteries up just like they got it and we'll see what it does. thing click that time you hit that well let's go see if I got any fire up here that'd be something to do I might have to take a little jumper and get the uh, vice grips out and Let's see about getting a little bit more. Juice to it. Build something kind of to put these two batteries to, together. Let's see if that helped any on the on the spinning of it. Now we're gonna have to. Nothing would be that easy after sitting this long, that's for sure. All right, let's see about getting this cab over if we can. Let's see. This. What is that? I don't know what that is. If we can get this cab over, we can see what it is. <clears throat> well, well, well. As a lever for the uh, uh, jack over there. Right. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pick it up this way. That's the Towards you. Towards me? Yeah. But it's got it locked, and it's probably some little simple thing. Oh. It's got it locked. Other than sitting 20 something years. That's there to hold that down. That's got to be there to keep that down. 
And that's got to be some kind of something wrong. All right, now try to pull this way. So I think I'm just making my while you pull it. I'm see if I can tap that way a little bit. Nuke. Let's see if it might just happen to be. Um, of course, that won't fit. Of course, it won't. What else? I'm definitely not doing something right here. That's for sure. I am not doing something right. That's all that stuff is just so rusted up. Nope. Guess what I left at the house. You guessed it, my new tool. See about getting them run up there. Try it again. It's warming up, fellas. I'm sweating now. Let's see if that helped it any. If it didn't, it could just be a loose wire somewhere else. Uh-oh. How about that? <laughs> okay. Okay. You want me to try to clear some of this brush? Uh, so you can try to get back there? Or are you good on that right now? Well, I would really... I tried to look up a video about how these things work. I think they're just... Froze up right here. That's I think so too. I I, I think they are froze up myself, and uh, maybe we won't have to do it now. We got our ether. Uh, not sure about <laughs> the fuel. Uh, I'm not sure about the engine oil. Hey, I'll tell you what, let's do. You know, we bought this flashlight. Why don't we try it out? located see if this puts some light on the subject Jacob you found the last two well, what's the matter with you now don't don't stop now <laughs> I know there's somebody in there saying this right there man can't you see Oh boy. And I'm also going to see if we might have just messed up. And it right here, I dang sure don't see where I missed it here. Nothing. There's where you plug it in. No other secret, no other super secret compartments up here for the oil. Oh, you can get somewhere down. Don't 
tell you what, that is a, that right there is a good one. I mean, the driver, the operator just got to know right. I mean, it's just got to be right, right here somewhere where you can just check it going about your business. I don't see anything that's obvious. Yeah. That you can just take off. Also, I watch these videos and I hear myself breathing hard. And uh, I'm trying to breathe out my nose a little bit more, but I catch myself hyperventilating and getting dizzy headed. Well, if that brace wasn't there, I'd just bail off up in there. Valve cover. That's the that's the blower right there. Uh, the auxiliary drive on the back. That's the alternator. Makes it easy to get to. I do not see where anything's coming up out of here. <clears throat> I'm gonna roll under, see if I see something. Uh, Cause I really do hate to start it without, or try to start it without uh, oil. Even though I'm sure it's got some in it, but you don't never know what has happened over the years. I say I'm gonna, I say I'm gonna get under there. See, there's the oil pan. That's what I was trying to get to. It's going to be... I mean, the dang thing. Dead dang thing. All right, I'm going in. Hey, that was limbs popping. That wasn't my bones and joints. All right, Jacob, do you, do you see where it, you said it that's wasn't. running toward the front, Jacob. You said it wasn't in this one. Uh, it wasn't, but kind of look in the grill, do you see something? It's kind of running up front. It is, it ain't kind of, it is. But let, now I can, might can trace it from there since I've seen it. You want to hand me the camera and I'll show them what we, kind of what we was dealing with. There's where it all comes into it right there. And it goes and it's, and it's going back that way. Y'all can probably see it better than I can now. But I'm going to get back out and see if I can't trace it. But Sorry for all that. I hope I didn't get y'all dirty while I was doing that. Okay, Jacob. There it is. I I uh I would go get the pliers or vice grips or something. It's froze up too, but I'm serious. I knew it should have been up here, but I never looked right there and seen that till I got under there and traced the the line. I know a lot of you guys that was familiar with these trucks was probably telling me where it was but next time just pick something up and throw it at me. I don't do it on purpose. There it is. Right here. This is going to be a kind of a long dipstick too. Now this thing's going all the way back to where we was at. Look at that. That thing's making oil. You know, a lot of people talk about that comment, but when I was, actually we didn't have a freight liner, we had a, a GMC Astro. 
And when they would check the oil in it, it had a, a 318 Detroit. And when they would check the oil in it, my daddy would say, this thing's making oil. And what that means is if it ain't using oil, he just determined that making oil means it's on the stick. So that's when I say that's why I say this thing's making oil, because when I was about 40 years ago, that's what that's the way uh I heard it from my dad and the truck drivers, and I'm just continuing on this tradition. I don't mean that it's actually making oil, but it really is making oil. Okay. All right, Jacob. The air intake, we got to find it so we can squirt some ether in it. I bet you if we had a, and usually they had a bonnet, but I believe that that right there, let me get on the other side. We never did check the fuel, but we'll know right quick if it's got any in it or not. All right. It's out of gear, because I'm turning that drive shaft a little bit. Now come with me and let me show you this. I'm thinking that's the air. Looks like it's drawing it in up front too as you go down the highway. Okay. That's a Fontail Airy induction system. Fuel saver. Oh, hey, Wilbur, it's all right, come on back. We usually have dogs come see what we're doing. It's okay to have a horse. All right, Jacob, I'm gonna go up front. That air is right there. I believe that's where the air is going in. So if you wanna spin it over, I'm gonna spray some ether in it right there. Let me see that so we can get some, see if we get some smoke coming out of it. This is gonna be the first, well, you heard us try to turn it over, but it'll be the first attempt in a long time to actually start it. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. All right. It's, it's like it's not running off of this ether. One more time and I'll change, okay? Well, it was running off ether. <laughs> Will it move any on the accelerator or none? Okay, just hold it down. That's the brake. Hold that down. Spin it. Hold. Just hold it down. See if it'll. Okay. Let's see, uh, you know, I guess we might as well take that, try to get that cap loose over there and just see if there is any uh, fuel in it. The way it's in there, it's hard to get your good grip on it.
Well, we grabbed a whole. We have got two or three of these things that you can't. Yeah. Y'all notice Jacob's new yes hat? Let's see. I tap on it with this. Um, more ether in the shop. I tap on it with this. Um, well, let's just see. We're gonna have to. It's gonna have to have some fuel to run. I know we got it running off ether, but uh, I think this will run off fuel if we can. All right. Just need a little bit of persuasion. Oh yeah, that thing's making fuel. Oh yeah, look at that. We just need to try to get it to where to There you go, switch it on. Oh. I'm thinking usually yeah that might be the only thing that's uh the pump because this will have a, a electric solenoid on the pump because they don't have a pull stop all right let me get some ether and let's just try to this time you can we can set that camera right here if you want to and just see if we can or either get on the engine turning wherever you want to set it and you just hold the, you hold the uh, accelerator down. All right. Whenever you are. Uh-oh. Always something. Try that. Anything? All right, hang on. Bump that. One more time. All right, I see right here is where that was happening at, I guess. What's, is light on? All right, try that. Shucks. All right, hang on. I, it's on this side over here where I am. I got to get back with the ether. All right. Just hold that accelerator down. Go. Oh, jeez. Okay. There you go. Let me get up there and you spray it. I'm gonna look for a kill switch. <clears throat> it might have, I'm gonna push both of them in. It might have an oil pressure where it don't let it crank until it builds up enough oil pressure. Let's try that. I'm going to push both of them. All right, here we go. That's what it was. That was an override. That was an override. about that <laughs> definitely gonna need a fuel filter uh, I just really would love these things to crank where you could move them some but just don't worry about ether let me see what happens
Okay. This thing will run. I guarantee you it'll run. Fuel filter, just like that uh, International on the last video, if you had not seen it, uh, go look at it. Uh, this one actually ran a little bit longer than that one did, but I think if you change the fuel filter on this thing, put some fresh fuel in it, let it, I believe it'll run. But anyway, this truck is for sale. I don't know if it's worth anything to anybody or not. Uh, this is the same place, as I told you earlier, that we come through and crank the, the camper and the uh, Red Mac truck, dump truck on Hank's channel. And Jacob and I started the International uh, S2600. But since Jacob and I had done the 2600, the man that owned this has passed away. Uh, he was, he would seem sharp to me. He could tell me what he had in something at the time, but just a couple of weeks ago was the last time I seen him. And I, today is Wednesday, and I think he passed away Monday. So our thoughts and prayers are with, he, with his family, but they do want to sell this. Uh, not sure about the title. They'll have to dig it up because that man knew where everything was and the family don't. But anyway, if you're interested in this, just hit me on the email and we'll see what we can do. But I wouldn't mind coming back with some fuel filters and put in it and just see if we can't get it to drive around. Maybe we can do that another time, but I believe it'll run. Been sitting here quite a long time. Y'all come back next time and see what else we can get into. And remember, don't be wily. Oh yeah.